here's my vlog for the uh, 22nd of January of, of December right now it's the 23rd 319 in the morning on Saturday so this is the one for Friday I just didn't get around to do it um, I was like working and stuff I laid down for a little bit <laughs> didn't sleep but um my mom came over um for like an hour or something we hung out she kind of invited herself um because we did hang out yesterday on her birthday and talked and stuff um so that kind of took some productivity away but I'm on um, 59 now I'm trying to do a decade a day and I think I did one because I started 49 yesterday so I still have I'm not like passing out so I'll see if I can go through 59 and then I did it and then I'm and then I can try to start with 60 for tomorrow and try to bust through the 60s and that means 60s for Saturday 70s for Sunday and then 80s for Monday and then like get done 90s for Tuesday. I, I have to do up to 96 and then I'm done. I have to fix a couple of them. There's some of them like weren't put in, but organized. But and then I have to paste them all together. Um, drag them, drag them. The other ones, I guess the first one into the second one. 96 of them. But, uh, so that's that's cool. Get you can try to get done by the end of the year. Um, I'm not gonna do Kurt Christmas with my family this summer. This winter, because <laughs> I don't want to. I want to bust through this sucker. And then my birthday's on the 27th. I'll just bust through, through it on my birthday too. But I like to do something different on my birthday. Um, different can mean something as little as like it usually means like drink alcohol so I might drink alcohol because I drank a uh, bottle of Jägermeister like last week and that was kind of fun um, and then I had two bottles like a couple weeks before that <laughs> two little ones but um, yeah I guess my roommate's leaving tomorrow Christmas for a few days, so I'll have the house to myself for a couple days, so that's cool. Um, so I finished uh, Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire book, the biggest book. I listened to a bunch of chapters a bunch of times and sections, and I got a bunch of good notes. I forgot to look how many I collected, but... Um, I want to listen to the uh, like the laws of Rome of Empire again. That was a good chapter. Listen to that one like twice. But then I got going on um, Livy. I really wanted to do Livy, and it only plays on my computer. I think the first eight biggest books that I have only play on my computer. Livy's like the fifth biggest. But um, it goes, decline and fall, slave narratives, Greek myth. I want to do Greek myth next. I didn't know there's that many damn Greek myths. Holy shit. Um, just, I guess just a com completion collections from all over. I don't know. But um, and then who was who was who was fifth? Uh, I can't remember. Whatever. Oh. My back. I'm at the. I'm like my back hurts no matter what sitting position I do. If I sit completely straight up, I'll be all right. I'll do that after I do the video. Anyways, um, I don't exercise at all. Like I don't. I don't even move. I just sit straight, sit still for decades and decades. I do ride my bike to the store, but it's just across the street. 
into my mom's house every once in a while, but that's just a kilometer away. Anyways, um, um, so, uh, I, um, yeah, I was listening to music and having silence, though, too, but yeah, I was listening, gonna start listening to the book again now. Um, I've done Livy a whole bunch of times. Um, I'm like an hour or two into it. I think it's like eight, 44 hours. But I listen to it at double speed, so I guess that's 22. So I should get it done in a couple of days. But I still don't have hmm. the whole thing memorized. I want to like memorize the whole thing because that's my main thing. That's like my specialty. I have a bunch of things revolving around it. That I won't talk about now, but, um, so that's all, really. Um, I was, uh, on YouTube, I was watching as I'm working, I'm watching videos of, uh, I was doing, like, <laughs> <laughs> running races and then I was doing CrossFit I saw the CrossFit events they have and then the running race they have those CrossFitters run fast I did not know how fast they can do a 5k 5k is like three miles it's like an actual run 20 minutes and those suckers can go like the fastest guy went and they did it just this year for the first time but the fastest guy went um 1639 but he didn't really look like a bodybuilder but he was muscular and that's faster than I ever did when I was in high school I uh well I only tried 5k's senior year in high school I didn't run from 7th grade to 12th grade but and then I got mono I got Epstein Barr <sighs> somewhere between 11th and 12th grade so I started running for the first time because I didn't run because I had a, they said I like couldn't run but they said I had any disease and then I I shouldn't have like exercised or run while I'm growing but I waited too long and I just didn't run anyway the last minute I decided to run because my friend invited me because he was on the team my two friends so I started running like a month before the season started and then I ran like two months in the season so like three months but so after like a month of training. I ran on grass in 1810, and that was good enough to be a, you know, on, on uh, varsity. But I was skinny. I was like, I looked pictures, and I was like really thin. I don't know how much I, I weighed, but if I guessed just from the photos, I was probably like 140 or something. Um, I think I was like 155 when I was first in going into college, so maybe I was like 150. But I think yeah, I was like maybe 145 or 140 or something really light, but these dudes who were muscular, like, beat my ass by, like, a minute and a half. It's like, jeez. Um, and, uh, this girl did a 6, 17, 48. My PR was 1707. I did that on a grassy course. But, um, our coach was an idiot. We should have done, we should have, at the end of the year, done our a race around a course around the track I never did a race around the track because I could have done like a 16 probably but um anyway so they're fast and then like another bodybuilder girl did it in 20 18 21 Katrin David's daughter and then an 18 year old girl did it in 1908 1909 and she's like a bodybuilder who can snatch 160 pounds and uh, hang clean 240 pounds and squat 315 pounds and deadlift 315 pounds. 
over 370 pounds and squat 270 pounds. So it's like, Jesus, and they can also run. Oh, and that was a girl who won the bike race. So it's like those crossfitters, man, those, they're like beasts. I don't know, maybe they're all on drugs or something, but anyway. Oh, and also the runners, they're freaking fast as shit too. Way faster than, like I saw one race where uh, five girl, five high school girls did two miles in under 10 minutes. But I remember when I was in high school, a girl in my high school ran a mile in under 10 minutes, but she was the first girl ever to do it. So, yeah, anyways, uh, I think I was doing a couple of like bike races. Um, but not, not the news. I don't watch the news. I'm trying to, I'm trying to not pay attention to any of that stuff. Um, uh, yeah, but three of those CrossFit dudes went under 17 minutes and the other three dudes were like muscular. So I was pretty impressed. Um, anyways, um. I'll plug all that stuff into my website later. My brain's not really working. Um, the uh, there are lots of uh, interesting things about the uh, Byzantinian Empire. Yeah, I'll talk about that tomorrow. I'll look in my phone at all the different um, things that I notes that I made. But, um, uh, it's, it's, it's that book, Edward Gibbon, um, The Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire is really well written and it's gonna, uh, it's inspiring me to try to, like, <coughs> on my website, <coughs> create, like, a diagram of, like, <coughs> to Livy after that because Livy is the story of everything that happened right you know um, you can I think you can kind of like uh, engineer a uh, um, constitution for a country the same way that you would anything else like it's just as black and white engineering a, a healthy constitution as drawing the diagrams for a car that drives down the road just as technical. People think that it's not, but uh, yeah, if you're clear, it, but it's more, it's more uh, of an intellectual challenge. I think what I'm doing is, it's, I, I guess if you would call it, evolutionary psychology is the um, tip of the iceberg. It's the very highest form of intellectual of intellectualism. So if I if I'm the best evolutionary psychologist I'm the most intelligent person in the history of humanity that's my goal to be the most intelligent person in the history of humanity and like like do a YouTube video titled I'm the most intelligent person in the history of humanity and like have it make sense to like everybody that's my goal um, and because uh, nobody's had the opportunity to do that because we just invented websites. The only way you could do it was if you do it with a website. So, it just takes a long time. So anyways, hopefully when I do my video tomorrow, I'll be talking about how I'm done with the, uh, <laughs> with the 60s. <laughs> Talk to you tomorrow.